ओम श्री साई राम हार्टी वेलकम टू श्री सत्य साई लोक सेवा गुरुकुलम फ्री ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर वी आर कमिंग टू द एंड ऑफ इट टुडे दैट इज अबाउट पोल्यूशन ऑफ एयर एंड वाटर एज ऑल ऑफ अस नो दैट एयर एंड वाटर आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बेसिक थिंग्स for all the living beings and if this air is contaminated by certain materials then they are called as pollutants then air gets polluted we call it as air pollution so this air pollution takes place come on what are the factors due to factory smoke smoke of the vehicles no dust particles and so on burning of wood all these lead to what is called as pollution of air and uh, there is some special cases where there is increasing level of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide are leading to global warming what is global warming increase in the temperature in the surface temperature of the earth earth is called as a globe and if the temperature of the earth increases that is what is called as global warming how it happens due to gases like excess of gases like carbon dioxide so if there is a excess of carbon dioxide what does it do it traps the heat radiated by earth so the heat that comes out from earth is trapped by carbon dioxide layer and hence what happens the temperature of the earth globe increases that leads to what is called as global warming what are dangers of global warming the ice that is blocked in the north arctic or south arctic or even himalayas or in greenland all supposed to melt is it not due to which floods will take place lot of calamities and also we studied about water pollution you know air water are one of the pancha bhutas which are very essential for all the living beings so this pollution of water takes place by contamination of water by substances come on what are the substances that pollute water as yes, sewage water correct then toxic chemicals given out by factories correct washing washing of vessels washing of animals throwing of <coughs> all unwanted materials is it not all this pollute the water and the major contaminants means the substances that make contamination is called <coughs> contaminants of water include <coughs> sewage all of you know that sewage water dirty water that comes out the agricultural chemicals they use lot of chemicals for as pesticides germicides and so on all these chemicals when they go and join the river they pollute the water industrial waste for example in sugar factory there is a waste when uh, sugar cane is converted into jaggery and then to sugar all the waste that is there 
solid waste is converted into cardboard and that liquid waste is converted into alcohol ethyl alcohol in this process there will be some wastage some dirty smelling things are coming out and this if it is driven to reverse even in factories like uh, kpc karnataka power corporation where coal is converted into electricity there also some no unwanted materials are left into the river and these will all cause water contamination and the substances that do so are called contaminants this is all what you have studied now let us try to answer the home assignment okay how many have done it okay some have tried right okay now come, come on if you do not not get on the answer write down now take a book and pen get ready okay what are different ways in which water gets contaminated so water gets contaminated by the addition of agricultural chemicals you know what is what is agriculture you know most of your sons or daughters of farmers so while growing crops naturally they add some chemicals so farmers are use excessive amounts of pesticides and fertilizers nowadays in early on the olden days they used to have natural fertilizers now all chemicals they are using and pesticides also that will increase crop production these chemicals get carried away to the water bodies due to rains and floods which lead to water pollution okay secondly industrial waste industry industries release harmful chemical waste into water sources thereby polluting them so what is difference between factory and industry industry means a large factory is called as industry both mean the same so in the production of certain materials there will be invariably they you know give out chemical waste that will be made to go into the rivers or water bodies so that will pollute them sewage waste waste materials from kitchens toilets and laundry resources laundry sources are also responsible for contaminating water this i need not tell because you have daily experience in your home correct so that is what is called sewage waste that also contaminate water in many of the houses unfortunately that sewage water will be in front of the house only actually it should be hidden it should be a proper uh, canal it should be closed but in many houses especially villages they don't uh, bother about that the dangers okay so second question what do you know about the river ganga how is its condition of the water at present the river ganga is one of the holiest rivers of india which flows through india and bangladesh there's what we take you know while taking bath we are chanting the mantra gange che yamane chaiva godavari saraswati narmade sindhu kaveri jale spin sannidhin kuru so even though you are taking bath in our home under the tap we feel that it is the river of ganges and yamuna that is our culture so it is considered to be the one of the holiest rivers the 3000 km long river rises in the himalayas there is a place called gangotri it is said and some say it is from manas ganga manas gangotri so there the river starts with a thumb size you can stop it in thumb but when it comes to varanasi something like 2 to 3 kilometers in breadth 
so vast dinat and flows to south and east through gangetic plain of north india it is that river which gives life for lakhs and lakhs of people farmers and factories and so on so the south north india especially uttar pradesh bihar west bengal all are very grateful to the river ganges ganges and then today the ganges is considered to be the fifth most polluted river fifth polluted not first why it happened it is because of the chemicals they are adding to it there were days when dead bodies are also added plastic bottles chemicals pesticides this that everything is to go to ganges for example there is a city called kanpur in kanpur the river ganges goes slowly and there lot of wastages are put the pollution levels have been rising for many years an ambitious plan to save the river ganges is called ganga action plan nothing but purifying the water of ganges and then and also you have national mission for clean ganga project nmcg the central government recently introduced for purity making purity of the river ganges are working to reduce the pollution levels in the river okay that is the answer for the second question now let us see today's topic more about water pollution potable water what is potable water drinking water okay process of making water safe for drinking these are the three things we are going to discuss in this topic are you ready okay sit straight come on give your smiling face are you happy okay you can also ask questions okay now look at this figure what is this man doing here he is collecting plastic bottles and where are the plastic bottles they are thrown out into the river many industries discharge harmful chemicals into rivers and streams causing water pollution so this is one of the most polluted river and here he is going in a boat collecting all water bottles so how it became so dirty because of oil refineries paper factories textiles and sugar mills and chemical factories they you know discharge all kinds of chemicals into the river these industries cause chemical contamination of water how the contamination take place due to some poisonous chemicals like arsenic lead and fluorides of metals all these you know will add to that and what does it do it leads to toxicity in plants and animals there will be some animals also which will come and uh, try to drink water in such places and there will be some plants also which grow on that all these will be affected and even the air flowing on this also will be polluted okay see it looks like a grassland correct a beautiful photo come on give a clap for the photographer they are taking a beautiful photo please don't misunderstand that it is a grassland it is a water filled with algae so this green color is called algae i think you have understood what the word algae stand for 
In Canada, we call it as Pachi. So, that green layer of water. Grown on the surface of ponds is caused by excessive quantities of chemicals that get wasted from the fields. So, during farming, there will be excessive quantities of chemicals. So, what they add some fertilizers, artificial fertilizers, some pesticides, all that, is it not? And all these, they are washed due to rains or due to the pipeline and so on. When they get collected, they form this algae. These act as nutrients for algae to flourish and they use up the oxygen in the water. So, these uh, chemicals which are there, they will be absorbed by the algae as food. So, what happens to that? They use up the oxygen in the water. So, these algae will use the oxygen that is present in water. As all of us know, water consists of two elements. What are they? Hydrogen and oxygen. In what ratio? 2 is to 1. So, this algae will take up oxygen from water. Okay. So, by which what happens? The decrease in the oxygen level may kill aquatic organisms. So, when oxygen level has reduced, there will be fishes, tortoise, crocodiles and so on. No? They are called as aquatic organisms they will not get sufficient oxygen and by which they may die. So, this uh, growth of algae, even though it looks very nice to see, it is very dangerous. Okay? And one more thing you should know, this algae is like something like, if you come to spirituality, it looks like that uh, there is a plain land or ignorance is like algae. Okay? So, if you think that it is a land and if you jump to it, you will be drowned. So, also if the ignorance is there, we look uh, the only one God as many. Is it not? So, when you remove this algae, fresh water will be seen. Okay? That is how you have to remove our ignorance also and try to see the unity, that is divinity. And you see this, this is a very common sin in a, almost all the cities of India, towns and cities. We find this type of scenes. Of course, not in the main roads, it will be in the outskirts. Okay? Sometimes untreated sewage is thrown directly into the river, which contains food waste, detergents, etc. So, here you see this water is untreated. The water that comes out after taking bath, after washing clothes, after washing vegetables, cleaning, all this, all dirty things will come to this. And what do they do? It is called as sewage. And even the people will come and throw it some plastic things, unwanted things all into this. So, water contaminated with sewage may contain bacteria, viruses, etc., which cause diseases like cholera, typhoid, etc. Okay? Certain very harmful diseases like cholera, typhoid. So, the people living in this area will be easily, you know, chances of getting into these diseases because of the bacteria and viruses. Okay? So, that is the danger in that area. And uh, how to get this portable water? What is portable water? Water suitable for drinking purpose is called portable. P-O-T-A-B-L-E Portable. So, this is how you get drinking water in your home, correct? There will be separate connection for that. And what do you call it as RO, 
RO water. What is RO? R is reinforced. O is osmosis. Reinforced osmosis. So there is a what are called as bulbs will be there. Two or three bulbs. Okay, depending on the quantity of water. So these bulbs so there will be some chemicals inside that. So when water is passed through the bulbs, it gets purified, and it will be suitable for drinking purpose. And in the large scale, especially in uh, cities and all, the safe water, making water safe for drinking. First of all, <coughs> the raw water or ordinary water is taken. and then they add some chemicals like uh, say alum potash alum have you heard about alum is a white crystallized thing which purifies the things and what does it do it coagulates what is coagulation you have seen how the butter is taken out from curds correct how it is done Previous state was milk. <coughs> For that milk, they add some quantity of butter milk. Correct? Of course, in ordinary temperature, it should not be neither too hot nor too cold. And then next day it becomes curds. Correct? And when you churn the curd, what happens? All the butter will float on butter milk. Correct? that is a example for coagulation so there is the action of bacteria there harm less bacteria but this is about you know coagulation by adding some <coughs> coagulants for example if you go to there is a place called <coughs> in magadi road tippa gondain halli tg halli what you call near bangalore something like 13 kilometers from bangalore once you see that bharat ratna vishweshwara an eminent engineer of mudainalli was one of the pioneers famous engineer who planned for a purification of water so here the purification of water first is adding coagulants like potash alum and then coagulation takes place where all the mud and all will settle down then flocculation 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 means all the you know some of the materials which are not dissolving will float there that is called flocculation that is done by passing some air inside it and they will settle there and diamentation diamentation again a purification process so pure water which is in the top of this is separated then takes filtration in filtration there will be some beds like uh, gravel sand and uh, some chemicals also will be there like uh, you know permutite they add so the filtration takes place when the water is made to pass through this after filtration they add some chlorine chlorination it is called why it is done disinfectant either it may be chlorine gas or it may be bleaching powder of course you should not forget you should not add more because chlorine is poisonous only suitable quantity there is a fixation for that little quantity of bleaching powder or chlorine is added why it is done just to kill the bacteria so then the water is treated is called treated water for storage so this become water pure now in filtration what happens any suspended particles will be filtered and uh, here here dissolved substances will be filtered and here the all the bacteria and dissolved uh, germs and all will be treated so then it comes to distribution and through pipes it is sent to different 
parts of the city or the town there will be big big tank you might have seen overhead tank what you call even house also every house will have one overhead tank correct so the water is stored and it is then by pipes you know it is made use of in different parts of the kitchen and all so water is to be filtered first to remove impurities what type of impurities say in suspended particles then boiling is a method of obtaining safe drinking water so another method is boiling that's why you are supposed to drink boiling water boiled and cooled which kills the germs present in the water and then you have chlorination is a commonly used chemical method for purifying water it is done by adding chlorine tablets or bleaching powder what is bleaching powder calcium oxychloride okay so that is a method of purifying water and the water which comes out is called as potable water and if you go to tippagund and halli you find one side there is a big dam that was built about 100 years ago but still it is so strong and if you just put your finger in it your finger will become so dirty full contaminated water but when it passes through all these chambers purified water or drink potable water comes out which is as pure as distilled water but of course distilled water is not so pure because it does not contain any minerals so here they add some minerals also okay so water treatment plant should be installed in industrial areas so these are industrial areas there they use water filters and the slogan at our individual level what we can do we can save water right so reduce reuse recycle come on repeat reduce reuse recycle in singapore there is no fresh water available what they do some of the sea water is purified and supplied as water for some purpose even sewage water also is purified and made as drinking water of course it will be they take all care but anyway it is called recycling so what we can do as a student or a teacher or any housewife or parent what we can do we have to reduce the quantity of water being wasted for example while brushing how much water will waste na remember what do you do you take a brush uh, put some paste on it then on the tap first you put some water then go on brushing for 3 to 5 minutes what happens water will simply going off you should not waste like that in while bathing also suppose you taking shower bath on the shower suppose you are taking bath okay unnecessarily should not waste washing clothes washing vessels cleaning house everywhere you should be very very careful that is what he said little drops of water makes the mighty ocean little grains of sand make the dreary desert so one drop of water if one person waste in the world how many people are there hmm in india for example about 140 crores 137 exactly 137 crores of people are there if one person waste one drop 137 crores of drops of water means how many liters it will work out so we are not supposed to waste water okay so it reduce the quantity of water being used and it does not mean that you should not wash so let us not waste water washing plates and all we leave it there only nothing doing nowadays you know you have what tissue paper this and that 
and some of them use only tissues. In a way, it is a saving of water, but it will not wash properly. Anyway, reducing is one thing. Reusing means using again. Recycling means once it is used, it is recycled. For example, the rain water that falls on the you know, top of the house that is made use of. In other time, they continue fill it in the it is called rain water harvesting. They collect it in the top of the houses. They store it in the tanks down below. So like that, we can think of reusing water used for washing and other household tasks. For example, water used for washing vegetables may also be used to water plants in the garden. So this is one of the factory area where the purification of water is being made. Okay, reusing of water is made. So this is about reusing and recycling of water. Okay, anyway, water is a very very precious thing. We're not supposed to waste it. Now let us see what our Sadguru Sri Madhusudan Sai says. What you think, speak or act should always please God. You will then become dearer and nearer to God. So our thoughts, words and action should be to please our God. Okay, That is what he has become. He has become dear and near to God, namely Satya Sai Baba, because of his purity of thoughts, words and action. Okay? Thank you.